this is one of those things that has been a trouble since uh, like the, the beginning and it's a very resilient thing but I also want you to understand that when we look at this whole combination right so you see when we look at the structure of the hand we have to understand that this is a complex thing you know like if we start looking at it from the perspective of the build right so you see you realize that there's a like there 27 bones there right so you see these are 27 bones which are all coming together and if you look at the levels right so you see you've got at least the level of the fingers the level of the mcp joints the level of the mcp connection so it's like one two well actually one two three four five six right so it's, it's like six levels so when the hand is folded like this we have to realize that this is the case but the big trouble for Kaylin is that this particular connection right so you see this particular connection for her is the one which is really 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 folded and you know this is where the skin is very much glued to those individual tendons so this is one of those things that I also are ah, here it's like really you see that's called the synovial sheath right so you see this is where she is really tense so that's one of the points which uh, I wanted to mention to you in terms of the usage of the you know of the ABR uh, fascia gel you know like the one which is uh, it's it's a really helpful and very simple tool so you know you can you know Manuel will send you the the video and the you know the file with the explanation so how the whole thing works but this is really an easy thing so it's really a gel which is like helping with uh, the improvement of the interfaces between the skin and the underlying uh, this glued type of this synovial sheath and the retinacula so this is really an important thing for us how to un lock this particular thing right so you see and that's also the illustration of this uh, sheath right so you see that's where she really folds but you also have to understand that the sheaths of the tendons and so on so they are in the same in the same challenging situation so that's really the basics so that's why I want to make sure that we double check your wrappings and we test how we can bring the machine in.